Ladies and gentlemen, this just popped up on my phone not even seconds ago. Donald Trump will go down in history as the first president to be impeached twice. This came out in the LA Times, January 13th, 2021. House impeaches Trump for the second time. Focus shift to Senate trial. Mm -mm -mm. Donald J. Trump became the first president in U.S. history to be impeached twice as a bipartisanship House majority Wednesday voted to charge him with inciting insurrection by his supporters who stormed the Capitol to block ratification of Joe Biden's electoral victory. It was a defining moment that will likely eclipse any policy accomplishments of Trump's presidency, such as his tax cuts, deregulation of business, and remaking the federal judiciary, and illustrate how far he has fallen in years. Yeah, they said his um, poll numbers are in the toilet for real. Since his last impeachment trial, when all but one Republican Congress stood by him. The President of the United States incited this insurrection and this armed rebellion, said Speaker Nancy Pelosi, speaking at the Capitol, still reeling from last week's siege, now safeguarded by more military troops then are currently stationed in Afghanistan. Wow, that's a lot of troops around the, around the U.S. Capitol. Wow, so they got more military troops around the Capitol than stationed in Afghanistan. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation we all love. In a major break with the president, he has loyally served for four years a furious Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Oh, Mitch, shut up. You, you don't do nothing. You're nothing but an obstructionist. Is considering supporting Trump's conviction when it comes to trial in the Senate, according to sources familiar with his thinking. So after everything that happened, y'all, Mitch McConnell is still standing up to support Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Kentucky, you are responsible for that. That could open a path for another Republican to seize an opportunity to make a clean break with an increasingly unpopular and erratic president. Senior Republicans estimate that no more than 10 to 12 members would vote for impeachment. Y'all need to find out the names. Some House Republicans were still visibly shaken by the insurrection in their workplace only a week ago. If you work in this building every day, Wednesday's attack is more difficult to process given the nature of this building and the deep respect for it, deep love. Yeah, you should have deep love and respect for the building that slaves built. That's the jarring part for members. And this is Rep. Patrick McHenry, and he's a Republican from North Carolina. Still, he said the Republicans will oppose because of what they perceive uh, to be an impeachment based on politics pointing to a spectrum that the House Democrats would hold the articles of impeachment until some of Biden's cabinet uh, would be approved. That tells me that they've thought through the threat of imminent danger, and this is now political calculation. They've made on the impeachment vote. They really, okay, so, you know, they're just trying to really defend um, Trump at this point. All right, so if McConnell ultimately supported conviction, member of his leadership team would likely follow the leader's vote. 
Other Republicans have already signaled openness, including Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania and Ben Sasse of North, um, I'm sorry, Nebraska, Mitt Romney of Utah was the only Republican to support conviction last year. Yeah, I remember that. And they came down on uh, Mitt Romney for that. I remember that. Timing is a wild card. And Mitch McConnell on Wednesday rejected the request by the Senate Democrat leader, uh, Charles Schumer of New York, that they invoke emergency authorities to bring Senator the Senate back into session before that. That makes it all but certain that the impeachment trial will not be complete before Biden becomes president. Biden worried that a full-time impeachment trial would distract from his administration ability to get cabinet nominees confirmed and his legislative agenda started, uh, has discussed with McConnell the idea of, yeah, so he wants his new appointed cabinet members confirmed. So, and, you know, they think this may actually hold things up. To those who argue that there was not enough time to finish the process before Trump leaves office in the regular course of events, House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer said the House debate opened. Is there little time left? Yes, but it's never too late to do the right thing. Mm -mm -mm. So they talked about how you know, silent Trump has been today. You know, he hasn't, he's been quiet since this whole thing happened. You know, he's not in the media nowhere near like he used to be. And, you know, and that's pretty obvious to many people. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, they said, Mr. Speaker, we are debating this historic measure at an actual uh, crime scene. And we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the president of the United States. And this is what Rep. Jim McGovern said of Massachusetts. Rep. Jim Jordan, one of Trump's most loyal allies, did not defend the president, but portrayed the impeachment effort as part of a broad democratic effort to undercut or cancel Trump's presidency from the day he was inaugurated. So you can clearly see there are uh, Republicans in the House and the Senate that still support Trump. Mm -mm -mm. Trump seemed likely to hold on to the majority of the Republicans in the House, even though uh, those who were still rattled by the emotional aftershocks of last week's attack in her first speech on the House floor, Nancy Mace of South Carolina, Republican, said she sent her children home Monday after she was sworn in because she was afraid of the rhetoric leading up to January 6. Although she said, Trump, I hold him accountable for the attack last Wednesday, May said she would not support impeachment because she believed it would divide the nation further. <laughs> now, America has never been united. That, that's one thing. You call yourself United States of America and to this very day, you have never lived up to that name. There is nothing united about this country. You have never in any century been united. That is just a bunch of fakery talk. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.